The next function I want to show you is to be more close to the ISO standards. Um, if you want to create a datum according to ISO 5459, and for this, I also want to show you a small uh, sketch yeah, of a drawing. If you have a part like this, it's a, a part of a chain. Yeah? Um, and for example, we have here the profile form around, which is related to the datum A, that's the plane and to the datum B and, sorry, the datum B, C. It's not the datum B and C, it's B, C. Yeah, it's a combined datum. The problem here in the bracket is that the two cylinders are not coaxial then it would be a little bit easier and maybe you remember you have the functions uh, the function in calypso it's the step cylinder for this in this case the cylinders are parallel to each other and that's the important thing according to iso 5459 each datum fixes all the possible degrees of freedom and in this case, for example, the plane can fix this two degrees of freedom of rotation and one degree of freedom of translation, for example, in the set direction. So we have additional three degrees of freedom, one rotation into the plane and two translations, the X and Y origin, for example. And for this, in this case, we can use now, um, or the datum should be, that's also important, the datum at the end is like parallel in the middle of the two cylinders, but the important thing is, we not calculate two cylinders by themselves, because maybe they are not parallel at the end, the actual values maybe are not parallel, and so the uh, the symmetry axis of the two cylinders maybe has uh, an angle error. We need a calculation like if you are using a gauge or a gauge, yeah, depend on how you spell it, um, a gauge with which has two absolute parallel cylinder holes inside and you put them over this part and then you shrink both of the cylinders together as long that at the end, the minimum of the diameter um, will be um, calculated. And this is what Calypso do now. Calypso, with Calypso, you can use now, a, in this case, a minimum circumscribed calculation for both cylinders, but the calculation will be done together and not one after another. It will be done together. And the result of this parallel, that's important, parallel minimum circumscribed calculation is at the end, an axis in the middle. And then I can use this axis for X and Z origin in this case. I can use from like the center of gravity to the center of gravity from the left to the right cylinder. I can create like a, a line or Calypso creates in the background like a line and can now use this for the planar rotation. Yeah, and this I want to show you now in Calypso. Let me open a new inspection plan. And I need the correct one. It's um, one moment. It's the inspection plan seven. It's 
sometimes it change here the the information where I get the inspections okay for example I will create in this case a cylinder here and the cylinder there both cylinders will be measured for example here with three circular lines and now under feature special geometries you will find now the parallel cylinder maybe you remember also according to the iso 5459 we can create a symmetry plane also with maximum or you can say with tangential elements uh, it's also one calculation we can create a step cylinder if you have cylinders which are coaxial and also be combined to one datum and now we have the new function the parallel cylinder where we can define combined datums when the cylinder cylinders are parallel and it's directly a theoretical element and I only can create it with recall feature points in this case of the two cylinders and okay and let's execute it you can see here the two cylinder axes and here in the middle now the local alignment of the parallel cylinder you get here the information of the calculated axis also of the different diameters of each cylinder yeah and the position of the axis and here the theoretical ideal dimension yeah you also get this information but we don't need it at the moment here and that's the important thing according to the iso standard the evaluation had to be done not with the least square feature it has to be done with the in this case maximum inscribed element and it's one calculation you will see it uh, wait wait let's go to the diameters then you see it maximum inscribed element apply and you see both of them changed in this case it's the same but it's uh, how to say um, uh, it's random yeah that we have the same values here <laughs> yeah. but you see both of them will be smaller because it's like a gorge which i take inside uh, yeah, a step gorge um, and now I have this calculation and also the axis and now I can use this axis for example uh, let me show you another element for example here the cylinder three and I want to create a position of the cylinder three should be positioned to the parallel cylinder yeah like maybe it's in the drawing or in our case it was first a plane yeah for example where i have it up, 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 up. i have it i have it here no sorry one moment please i need the plane it was in this case plane like this and here the parallel cylinder nice for this function is you cannot only use two cylinders and that's what i programmed here in this inspection plan i created here it's a cylinder b you see it it's a pattern yeah and i also created here the circles it's also a pattern and I can create now with the parallel cylinder, in this case with re recall feature points of the four small cylinders, I can create now as well a datum or an axis which lies here in the middle. I get here the information of each of the single cylinders 
and I also can use here if I need it the maximum for example in this case maximum inscribed calculation so at the end I get also here a local axis which I can use as a datum that's really nice so it, I need minimum two cylinders can be three four five six a whole ball pattern it doesn't matter Calypso can calculate here the the axis and the position of the axis which is you can say uh, in the middle yeah which is symmetrical to all the features 